Okay, so this is an unboxing video. Uh, it's nothing. It's not a very exciting one because it's just a Rose figure from the Last Jedi toy line. It's Rose in her First Order disguise with BB-8 and BB-90. But I haven't seen any new Star Wars toys since September, so this was kind of exciting to me. So I got it, and I don't know. I like doing the unboxing things. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's fun. I don't, I don't care if y'all like it or not, because I don't even know if anybody watches these. So yeah, this is Rose. That's Rose. I really liked Rose a lot, and there's BB-8 and BB. 9e bb90 and if you look at the packaging i got helpful pictures of them up at the top and uh that's about it lots of multiple language things on it this is honestly this is the most boring packaging i think i've ever seen for a star wars toy it's just like you know on guard attencio it, it's just multiple languages of the same warnings, and I take up the whole packaging. Nothing about, oh, you could also get so-and-so, or anything like that, so that's lame. I don't really see how people could still keep their toys in package at this point, because it's just, you know, dull. So, I'm going to, um, liberate them from their packaging. Let's see. I usually don't use an exacto knife. I usually just pull the tape, but that takes longer. And I'm sure y'all don't want this to be longer than it has to be. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there anything in the packaging? Oh, there's a look, I got there's instructions for how to use the uh the force link thing so that's helpful in case you don't know how to use it basically you tap it and then hold it so it's not that complicated here's the packaging again and let's get rid of it okay so then let me get that. looks like she's got a little blaster oh my god come on come on i'm being thwarted by tape this is this is so embarrassing. There we go. Okay, so let's get out the blaster. Let's get out her motivational baton. Can you see these? Yeah. There, blaster, motivational baton. Uh, okay. Big gun. Uh. Big gun. Oh my God! Come on, big gun tripod. So here we have Rose. She's got the what's become the standard four, five points of articulation for Star Wars figures, like they had uh, from 1978 to 1985. And here's her gun. Let me put her gun in her hand. Let's see. So there's her gun in her hand. Pew, 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 which is funny because she's like a pacifist, you know. It's one of the things I really liked about her character. She is not a big fighter. Um, this gun goes in the holster, and then she gets her motivational wand. Uh, which I think that's supposed to be, like, the package doesn't say what anything is because usually it's pretty self-explanatory, but here's a motivational wand. Yeah! So there's Rose, ready to motivate people. And here's normal Rose next to her. Um, Rose was actually the very first figure I bought for Last Jedi. It was Rose and Luke. And Rose I got because uh, all I knew about her was that she was going off on some adventure with Finn. And I was angry at her before seeing the movie because that meant that she was taking Finn away from his boy Poe who 
is totally the only one to be going on adventures with Finn. And I got her figure early because I wanted the healing to begin early. Um, okay, and then we got... Let me get out this little gun thing first. Let's see how this goes. Do you go in there? Is that how you go? Sort of. E. 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 Sure. There you go. Yeah, like. Uh. Is that all you bend? Okay. Well, that's a little odd, but. Hey, okay. Maybe it's supposed to be like. No. Okay, so. Gun thing. Doesn't want to. Okay, there we go. Gun. Alright. Then we got. Let me show old BB 8s first. This was the first BB 8. This one came with uh, one of Uncar's thugs and like a scavenger or something like that. I can't remember their names. But uh, this was the one that came with that set uh, a couple months after Force Awakens came out. He's very. Uh, ping pong ball like very light and then uh, they included another one with the Millennium Falcon which I didn't get uh, but that one also came with uh, the Takadana set which is the only way you could get Maz originally and that's this one and this one you can kind of hear him he's a bit more solid he's got a little hole in his peg so let's see which kind the new one is for Last Jedi are you well he's he's light he's very light like the ping pong ball again um, Head doesn't move quite as much. Still moves, I guess, enough. And he's got a little, you know, he's got his little force link blue thing in him. So good for him. So there's there's a new BB-8. Oh, 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 and he's not, okay. And he's not, see, okay, the old ones, look, the old ones, they had flat butts. They had flat butts, so they could sit. So y'all can sit over here with the Xenomorph. Whose name I forgot. I can't remember what I named my Xenomorph. Uh, but he's got just a little bitty of a butt. So, how do you... There you go. Okay. He's just got like a little sweet spot you have to put him in. And then there's BB-9E. BB-9E was advertised a lot. You know, they made a lot of merchandise for him before the movie came out. And his basic role in the movie was... He saw BB-8 running around with a trash can on his head, pretending he wasn't, you know, BB-8. And BB-9, he was basically like, hey, that's that's not right. That's that's something in disguise. Y'all should check it out. And that was it. It's hardly in the movie, but that's BB-9E. So we got two BBs next to each other. And there's Rose. New Rose. Okay, so now I'm going to... Let's see... See if I can get them a little ooh, ooh. a bit more in frame. This is I'm trying to do this on my phone with a tinier tripod instead of the other ones. So I wanted to see how it would come out. It's weird. Ah, that might work. We'll try that. Okay. So then I use my handy dandy force link thing. Put that on my giant wrist. Hang on. Bear with me. So how are y'all doing? Good? Good. It's good. You know? Yeah. Uh, have a good weekend? It's good. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Okay. I, I there's the force link thing. I I put it on upside down because I feel like it works better that way. So I'm gonna turn on. Turn on. There you go. Okay. Well, let's see what Rose says. I'm ready for my mission. Okay. Good for you, Rose. Quiet. We have to be careful. All right. Quickly. Stormtroopers are coming. She sounds very calm. Quiet. We have to be careful. Well, yeah, I'm trying. Quickly. Stormtroopers are coming. Quiet. We have to be careful. I think sometimes if you shake them, they make more noises. But they're not. She's not doing it. Quickly. Stormtroopers are coming. Cool. Okay. And then BB-8 makes some sort of sounds. I can fix anything. Oh, that was that was old Rose. That was. I can fix anything. Yeah, she's talking over there. I'll put her aside next to her dead sister. Orders received. That's the dead sister. Okay. Oh, that's BB-8. That's also BB-8. Yep, BB-8. Mhm. Mm 
So, you might not know this, but I don't know if he still did it for Last Shadow, but Bill Hader did the uh, some of the vocal stuff for BB-8, or was the influence for him or something. Yeah. Then this year, or this past year, in 2017, he also played Alpha 5 in the new Power Rangers movie, and he was kind of adorable. So, I think, BB, I think Bill Hader just kind of found a calling in playing adorable droids. So, let's put BB-8 there. And evil BB-8. Oh, BB-9E sounds like he's farting. That is definitely a fart. Farty the droid. This is so immature. I should be ashamed of myself. Why am I still doing it? <laughs> I think now's a good time to point out I'm a grown-ass man. Okay, so farty BDB 9E. Thanks. All right, and take this off. Uh, hang on, let me see. I don't think this makes any noise. Ah! The gun does not talk. It is a not talking gun. No Superman for it. Okay, so that's. Well, there. That's that's new Rose, and BB. 90 and BB-8 and thanks for watching. Bye.